let's play a game. You guess who used to work at The Gap? Kanye West. Guess who used to sell hot dogs at the mall? Eva Mendes. I heard President Andrew Johnson was a tailor. George Washington was a surveyor. Herbert Hoover was an engineer. Theodore Roosevelt was a rancher. And President Jimmy Carter was a peanut farmer. Hugh Jackman who plays Wolverine was a clown. But look who's laughing now. You know what I know it's about successful people. Successful people take a course of action which coincides with their belief or passion. Put your hand up if you work a 9 to 5 or 5 to 9 or just any job which you don't enjoy but takes up half your time. Well hopefully in a couple weeks, months, days, years time you'll be able to come back to this video, hear that first line and keep your hand down. Because how many times have you visualised taking a pen from the manager's desk? or the one the cashier keeps behind the till, the one your supervisor places it strategically in their hair, or the one the security guard keeps behind his ear for extra intimidation and writing your resignation. Cause there's nothing wrong with making an honest living, but be honest, are you honestly living? With this mean or job which allows you just to stay afloat, yes a job, a J-O-B which leaves you just over broke every single month. Living your life just for the weekend, living life just on the weekend because the other five days belong to your manager. You see there's a big difference between a job and a career. Cause in a career no matter how many hours you work you do it cause it's satisfactory. But in a job you do it for a salary. Cause you're stuck in the rat race. And you know being stuck in the rat race is one of the biggest traps cause as a matter of fact even if you win the rat race you're still just a rat. See I understand the need to have a job temporarily but pursue a career eventually because in my J-O-B I used to sell at least 200 shoes a day and none of that was ever reflected in my pay. One of my colleagues once made the company five grand in one month and you know what he got? An email, a 20 pound discount voucher and a complimentary lunch and you think you're safe because your job is commission based until you've been working there for three years and the secretary with the short skirt gets a promotion because her and the boss went for dinner real late I'm sure you can real late but wait uh, are we still happy with an extra week holiday and a raise in a salary perhaps we need more clarity let's look at the statistics because the industrial revolution was beneficial technologically but it coerced a lot of people into factories for ridiculous salaries to benefit their families and that shaped people's mentalities exponentially and essentially it became the norm to work for someone else by the turn of the century and I could have regurgitated facts and figures to support this but I choose not to boast plus that would give them nothing to write about in the Huffington Post now in three years I've had six jobs and that made me think that long term I could never be happy working one of these jobs and I used to have a rich uncle called Steve and they say that apple don't fall far from the tree so maybe subconsciously I was trying to get one of Steve's jobs. I understand more than anyone that a job allows you to pay the bills, make ends meet and survive. But that's exactly what it is, surviving not living. I hope you're aware of the difference, it's like when you hear but don't listen. Cause you can hear good advice but if you don't heed it, it does no benefit to your system. The same way only knowledge with application is wisdom, I hope you're creating the distinction. Sean Corey Carter said it best, 9 to 5 is how you survive and I'm not trying to survive. So he strived hard for his dream and look where it took him. So bear that in mind next time you drive past that arena in Brooklyn. But then again, survival is the only trait that every human being has in common. And do not take this as a reason to quit your job, go back home and stare at a computer screen. Cause a government check plus idleness does not equal success. Success will not fall in your lap. In my family we have a saying, it says if you really want to grow trees, pray for rain but don't neglect to water your seeds chase your dreams because I wrote this on the back of a payslip on the late shift the grave shift of slave shift for makeshift wages 
Google the term corporate sharecropping and you understand what I'm talking about. If somebody wants, if somebody wants to do these jobs, then let them. And from the bottom of my heart, I respect them. Because I once met a garbage man who was the happiest man that I've ever met. But don't become a slave to a paycheck. Because the job is a safe net. The condom which the system uses to screw you. And none of us would be here if everyone practiced safe sex. <laughs> Stand tall. And if you're not sure if you're building someone else's dream, maybe this will help. Jerry Jow said, You will recognize your own path when you come upon it. Because you suddenly have all the energy and imagination you will ever need. And don't be afraid to innovate. Because it's not about how much change you make. But rather about how much change you make. Because a business that makes nothing but money is a poor business. So you decide what your life is worth. Your passion or your paycheck. Because your playing small does not serve the world. Because what is our deepest fear? It's not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Confucius Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. Peace.